Hi, uh, many people are asking on how can you actually transfer a file which is there inside your Windows machine to the Linux machine which is running inside the VMware. So let's see on how we can actually do that. So we have a Kali Linux machine which is running inside my VMware. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll log in inside the machine with my credentials. Now once it gets logged in, there is a software called as WinSCP. So let me type it WinSCP. So through this software, you can actually transfer the files from your Windows machine inside the Kali Linux as well as you can download the file from Kali Linux machine back to the Windows machine. So let's see how we can do that. So I'll maximize it. So if you're using Kali Linux, then the first thing that you'll have to do is you'll have to go to Kali Linux, System Services, SSH and SSHD start. So by default, the SSH service does not start. So you'll have to start this service. The second step you'll have to make sure is find the IP address of the Kali Linux. So to do that, I'll type ifconfig. So here you can see I'm getting the IP address, which is 192.168.189.128. So I'll come out of Kali Linux and I'll use this IP address in this hostname field. So here I'll write 192.168.189.128. I hope this is right. I'm not good at remembering the numbers. Yeah. Okay. So this is the IP address of the Kali Linux machine. Username would be root and password would be the password that you have set. So I had logged into this root user with a particular password, right? So that is the password that you have to type over here. So by default, the password is tour, which is T O O R. So I'll log in. So let's say I want to transfer a file from Windows machine inside this Kali Linux desktop. So currently there is only one icon called as my computer. So let's add one more file. So let's select some small file. Okay. So output merge.mp4. This is a file that we want to transfer inside the Kali Linux machine. So here I'll, so the right side window is the Kali Linux files and the left side window is my Windows files. So inside my desktop, I want to transfer. So what I'll do, I'll click on it and I'll right click and I'll select upload. I'll do OK. So basically it is uploading the file from my Windows machine to the Kali Linux machine. Okay, so here you can see the file is present over here. So let me go back to the Kali Linux machine and here you see inside the desktop the file is there. Now suppose you want to transfer the file from Kali Linux back to your windows. So again the same procedure, just right click on this file and click download and the file will be downloaded in this particular directory which is the documents folder. So this is pretty easy, right? So this is it about this video. I hope this video has been informative for you and thank you for watching.